Okay, so hello everyone. This is Lakshya here. Let us continue with today's GFG Beauty Week. Today's question name is the union of two sorted arrays. We have been given two sorted arrays of size n, m, n respectively. We need to find their union. Union ka kya matlab hota hai? We need to find the common elements which are present in the both the arrays, right? We need to avoid the duplicacy. So similar in this case, you can say one. Uh, let us go to the uh, one node and let us visualize what are the common elements in all the particular test cases. So here it is one, two, three, four, five. In the second array, you have one, two, three, six, and seven, right? So you, we will take this one and we will neglect the another duplicacy. We will again take two. So one, two, and three, I can see. And then what are the, what are the other distinct elements? Four, five, six, and seven. Yes, these are the distinct elements. In rest of the cases, you can see that some of them are dupli uh, duplicates. For two, this is a duplicate, and for three, there's a duplicate. So we need to ignore them. U union ka simple se yeh matlab hota hai. Ki jitne bhi distinct elements unko print karte jaiye. That's it. So similarly in this case, two, 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 three, four, five, one, two, three, five. So what are the distinct elements? Clearly, I can see one, two, three, four, and five. Right. Rest all other elements are the duplicates of the respective elements present in the both the arrays. So, सबसे अच्छा डेटा सेक्टर, the best data sector to handle the duplicate things is what? If we want in the form of key value pair, if the requirement is in the form of key value pair, definitely we'll use a hash map, right? And this is something is an unordered map, right? If we want the order as well, right? Then instead of using hash map, we can use a tree map, right? Again, the key value pair, and by default it is ascending, I guess. And if you write collection dot reverse order, then you get the descending, right? Similarly, what is given here that we do not need key key value pair. We just need a key key, right? So in that case, we will use a hash set, right? So let us see if the hash set can uh, solve our problem or not. So what we're going to do is that we will put all the elements. That is the elements present in the array one and array two in a set, right? And since it does not allow duplicacy, then when we when we will filter the elements or we will put the elements of array one. Array one has elements one, two, three, four, five. So I will push in the set one, two, three. Four and five, right? Now here comes the chance of array two, and again the elements are one. So if I try to push again one, the first element of the array two, it will not go because it will see there is an element here, so it will not be added. Similarly for the second element two, again it will see there is an element here, so no element would be added. Similarly for three, there would be there is a element three present in the set initially, so they would this three would also not be added. Similarly for six, it it will see that the six is not there, so six would be added. And similarly, for the next element, the last element that is seven, it will see that if seven present in the set, so it is not right. Okay, and similarly for the seven, the last element, it is not in the set, so this would be added. And at the last, we will just iterate in the set, and we'll get the answer, and that will store in the given return type. That is, return type is the given array list. So let us see. So let me just uh, uh, remove this tree set into hash set. I want you to. Have some insights. First, we will check that why the hash set is not working. Then we'll move on to the tree set. So, first of all, we have done is we added all the elements present in the array one. We added all the elements present in the array two in the set. And at the last, we iterated in the set and we add all the elements in the array list. So, let us compile and run. And what would be the time and space complex complexity since we are adding the element in the set in a hash set, right? So, it is O of one for adding, but we are adding all the elements O of n plus O of m. Plus O of n plus m. So ignoring the constants would be O of n plus m as time, and space as O of n plus m. Because in the worst case, every element could be distinct, and that would be the space required in our hash set. इसे submit करते हैं. So while it is submitting, a question again goes to you. कि क्या ये approach सही है? Will according to the given constraint and everything, will our answer be finally concluded using this part of code? Uh, let us see the now what which other test cases where we are stuck in. So the Actual output was minus three seven eight minus eight and eight, and our output is minus eight. So it is like randomly unjumbled, right? And we need in a certain format. So that means, हमें ascending order में ही चाहिए यार, descending order में. We need the things in the descending order, right? So अगर हम, so यहाँ इसलिए यार ज़रूरत होता है. सारे डेटा स्ट्रक्चर का अंडरस्टैंडिंग होना जैसे मैंने बोला था when I explained you hash set, so this went in an unordered, right? अगर आपको order चाहिए. If you want an order, then definitely we'll use a tree set. Just like we have used the tree map in the uh, map section. So again, why it is so? But only you will get the order as well. You will get by default. It gives you descending. If you root, if you write collections dot reverse order, then it will give you ascending. But there is a what is it? Since we are getting more things done, so definitely more time wasted will be involved. So now adding a function. If you call add, then the log n is required. 
add element in the set because in built what is happening it is using a red black tree which is a self balancing binary bst so agar aap agar aap yaad karo bst mein agar kisi key ko insert karna hota tha to kya time waste hoti thi log n and that is why in tree set or tree map whenever you add element the time of stay is log n right so let us change the from hash set to tree set and everything remains same and let us now submit the code so now you can clearly see all the test cases have been passed and what is the time and space so agar is question mein it would have not mentioned to maintain the order then definitely hamara kaam ho jata in o of n o of n plus m and space as again o of n plus m right but since the order is mentioned right then in the method 2 here we use the hash set mai a set likh deta and here we used a tree set right so what is the time and space again so here it would be n plus m log of n plus m because we are adding the elements uh, in the hash set and again what is the space would be again n plus m because at the worst case every every element could be distinct and that would be the space required for the elements in the hash set now what is the method 3 because expected time constant you can see is that it is given as o of n plus m n o of n plus m so can we do this in uh, without using set or hash set uh definitely so there is an approach of two pointer algorithm so you may have been familiar with this approach once we have covered a merge sort technique right so whenever there is a function of merge merging the array right then this two pointer approach will be uh, somewhat similar to this merge technique which we do in a merge sort algorithm so what we going to do is so let us take some random cases which will cover everything so let us take 1 1 1 2 2 2 and then let us take from this array so i will say 3 4 5 and i will say let's say 2 3 4 right so first pointer i and j would be here i is i as 0 and so step 1 would be nothing but i as 0 and j as 0 right so we do not need to uh, add the duplicate elements right so whenever we see that the adjacent elements are same we will move the pointer ahead so <clears throat> we have a while loop for that so my i will be moved here right and again adjacent are same so my i will be j would be moved here now i want the order to be maintained as well right so for this case what is the answer answer should be 1 2 3 4 5 right uh, in the order if the order is maintained as well i can see here as well uh, in this case what is the answer so 1 2 3 4 5 right matlab ki jab hamara array ascending mein given hai to definitely output would will be also in ascending so one thing i'd like to first clear cleared out that by default jo hash set or hash uh, tree, tree set or tree map mein hota hai wo by default ascending hota hai right so this ascending is by default and if you root collection dot reverse over then you get the descending part theek hai so i just want to clear that part uh, okay learn this is in my head so i will see that uh, which of the element is lower because i want to maintain the order as well right so i'll have a if and i will check if a1 i am writing this array as a1 and this one as a2 i will check if a1 of i is less than a2 of j then i will include in my array list as a1 of i right and I, what i will do the next steps would be i will move a pointer ahead so mai uh, in the array list this is my array list and what are the bunch first element would be 1 and this pointer would be moved ahead so i would be coming here again i will check uh, now which element is smaller it is a2 of j so there would be an else if case that if else if a2 of j is lesser than a1 of i then in that case i will add i will add the a2 array a2 of j and i will move j plus plus right so i so j would be moved here now you can clearly see that both the elements are have an equal match so in that case what we will do we will add any one of them so in this else case which is nothing but the equals part in this case we will we will add any one of the element because both remain same so i'll just say a1 of i and what are the next step of element uh, next steps would be do is i++ plus plus and j++ plus plus. dono hi array mein move kar jayenge so i will do i and then similarly j++ plus plus. now you can clearly see that i and j corresponding uh, corresponds to the same element and definitely so we will move both of the pointers and we will add so first which was added for 1 2 and then 3 added and then 4 was added right so now j would be moved out of bounds right so definitely after after this everything is done that is this would be in a while loop of while i less than n and and j less than m right 
टिल वन ऑफ द एरे एलिमेंट्स गॉट ट्रेवर्स कम्प्लीटली राइट तब तक हमें ये ऑपरेशन uh, करने हैं वंस दैर इज डन देन वी कैन क्लियरली सी अ केस कि दे वुड बी अ केस वेयर सम ऑफ द रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट्स वुड बी देयर इन एनी ऑफ सच एरे इन आर केस ए वन हैज रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट्स बट दे कुड बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी और प्रॉबिलिटी दैट रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट्स वुड हैव बीन प्रेजेंट इन द ए टू एरे सो इन दैट केस वील हैव अ स्पेसिफिक वाइल लूप टू हैंडल द बंच ऑफ रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट्स दैट इज वाइल आई लेस देन एन एंड वाइल जे लेस देन एम so the reason i said this code was um, more similar to the merge functions which we write in the merge sort arrays you can clearly see that this is <clears throat> this was the actual method we used to merge two sorted arrays right so please please pause this video here and try to code this approach by yourself meanwhile what is the time and space complexity while the traversal we were doing in both of the arrays you can clearly see that we have visited each and every element once exactly once right so we can clearly see that o of n plus m would be a time complexity and space complexity again would be o of n plus m because in the worst case every element would have been distinct and that much space would be required for our array list but if we ignored the inbuilt uh, or the space which we are using for the return type if we ignore it then then we can say it is o of 1 right because generally what happens so whatever the return type is given and because we are using this space for this return type right the return type ke liye jo space hame hame pas privilege nahi hame use karna hi padega so that is why sometimes we say if you are using the space for the return type uh, um, constraint then definitely aap usko ignore kar sakte ho if not o of n plus m would be the space so theek hai video ko pause karo try to code this approach by yourself and then we can see the code work through of this uh, solution ठीक है सो फर्स्ट वी हैव आर एल एस टू स्टोर द आंसर्स वी हैव टू पॉइंट दैट इज आई एंड जे स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जीरो एंड जीरो फॉर बोथ ऑफ द आर एस नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप दैट वी डिस्कस दैट वाइल आई लेस देन एंड जे लेस देन एम सो दिस दीज आर द टू थिंग्स विच आई एडेड एक्स्ट्रा वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड दीज थ्री केसेज इफ एल्स इफ एन एल्स सो वाई हैव एडेड दिस वन इज बिकॉज यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट इफ देर आर डुप्लीकेसी इन एलिमेंट्स लाइक वेन वी डिस्कस दैट देर एडजेंट एलिमेंट सेम देन वी डिड नॉट डू एनी थिंग रादर वी जस्ट मूव द पॉइंट आर अड so that's the case that is handled by the above two if so yahan pe aap uh, you could have used a while loop also here right uh, instead of checking i and i i minus 1 you could, you could have check with i and i plus 1 and you have just uh, do i plus plus and continue would be not required right ab aisa bhi likh sakte the but then again uh, i just wrote it like two if statement so if that's the case then i plus plus and continue and go again in the while loop so continue what does it it, it says that you do not have to proceed for the rest of the statements written in the loop you just skip it and continue it right skip uh, skip the rest of the steps and continue with the while loop again similarly break kya karta hai yaar ki agar wo constraint satisfy ho gayi to break loop hi khatam kar deta hai aap pure loop se hi bahar aa jao but continue kya karta hai ki rest of the steps ko skip karo aur while loop mein wapas chale jao right theek hai to is tarike se ye dono steps se hamare duplicacy element skip ho jayenge and then we have already discussed these three steps now uh, the third step was to handling the remaining elements so we have and in that also we have to check like in this case I can clearly see there is one instance of five, but there could be have been the case that several fives are there, right? But we just want to include it once, so that is why we have to handle that case in the inside the inside the while loop of remaining elements as well. That if i is greater than zero, and if the adjacent elements are not same, then only add it in the in the answer array. Else, just move the pointers. Similarly for the second array as well. At the last, we'll just return the al. So again, the time and space would be o of n plus m. Uh, let's verify the constraint as well. N is nothing but 10 power 5. So 10 plus 10 power 5 plus 10 power 5 would be 2 into 10 power 5. Ignoring the constraints, ignoring the constants, it would be 10 power 5, which is less than 10 power 8. And this is nothing but n plus 1. So definitely, this code will get submitted if we are coding it in less than equal to 10 power 8 iterations. तो ठीक है ये कोड हो गया एंड वी हैव डिस्कस ऑल द थ्री अप्रोचेस पॉसिबल फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन आई डोंट थिंक और कोई अप्रोच पॉसिबल है अगर आपके दिमाग में और कोई अप्रोच आता है डेफिनेटली डू नॉट हेजिटेट टू राइट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड वी डिस्कस इट थ्रू सो टिल देन कीप लर्निंग कीपिंग बाय टेक केयर गाइस लेट अस मीट अगेन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द जीएफजी प्यूरिटी और द अनदर अनदर प्लेस आल्सो टिल देन कीप लर्निंग एंजॉय द वीकेंड एंड बाय बाय